Hey YouTube, Jack here for another video about Kartra in our series walking through this new business platform which I am kicking the tires and testing it out and having a blast with it so far. In the last video, which I'll link up here in the corner, we talked about creating an entire list building funnel and we did that from start to finish and it took just a couple of minutes on day two of using this new platform complete with email integration and some beautiful landing pages. In this video, I want to talk a little bit more about the email system and specifically show you a little bit about the analytics, but most importantly, show you some of the amazing automations you can trigger off of a broadcast. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So we're here in our platform and I have pulled up my, um, my campaign section here. And this is where all your email work is going to be. The only thing you need to keep in mind is if you're going to create a new form to collect email addresses, that's going to be in your forms section. So here in our My Campaigns, you've got three items up at the top. You've got leads, campaigns, and analytics. And as you hover over them, you can see how the different subcategories within those, your lists, your leads, your tags, your campaign sequences, automations, and done for you, and the analytics. Let's briefly take a look at the analytics section. And here you can go through and have a very easy way of taking a look at different cross sections of your data. So if you want to look at how your lists are performing, you can either look at all of your lists, or if you maybe have multiple businesses, multiple brands running off of the same domain or the same just Kartra section, you can filter down to specific lists here. For example, I like to play around in the options market. So I have an options trading list here, and you can show that just after a couple of days, the growth of that list, um, as well as all your lists here. You can also take a look at what metrics you want to pay attention to. If you want to clean it up, you can do one versus the other. You can add revenue in, or you can compare all the metrics day by day. And I did no pixel tracking. I didn't add Google Analytics uh, script to the page because everything here is integrated. This just kind of happens as part of it. You can see how many leads you have as well as the activity that has happened in that time period. The other thing I want to do is show you very briefly that your revenue can be tracked. I haven't set up products or memberships into the platform yet, but we'll be able to track how the revenue moves over time. And lastly, if you go over to the broadcast section of the analytics, you can go down to your individual email performance. And there are some cool things I want to show you on this screen here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So one thing is you can obviously select your time period. So if you want to just look at today or just move uh, to maybe all time, which we'll do here, it'll show you from the beginning of time as well as more subsections. If you want to look at just a category of broadcast, because like almost everything else on the platform, you can categorize and tag your different uh, projects as well as individual emails. If you wanted to send out one email, for example, this one that was sent out yesterday, uh, sent to nine people, was opened by nine people, and it shows you down here kind of the additional stats. And what's nice is that this is all in one screen. It's very easy to digest, and it kind of breaks down to just the numbers that really matter when you're looking at email marketing. The recipients, how many went to spam, how many got unsubscribed, open, clicked, goals, revenue, and when it was sent. What's also kind of nifty is you can just toggle from the raw counts to go over to the percentages. So it's just a clean way to show the interface depending on how you want to look at it. Up here, you have the option of, if you want to look at it by the calendar, so this would show your trend over time, hopefully it's going up. You also can select by day, so if you wanted to determine, after some testing, what day of the week is the right day for you to send, you'll be able to see kind of what the performance is, and down here we can decide how we want to analyze what best is. So if I click on compare all, you can see that Wednesdays are my best days, but that's simply because I'm just starting. So as we go through, I'll definitely be broadcasting every day of the week and be able to come here quickly and not have to do a bunch of work in Microsoft Excel or anything to kind of figure out where is the right place for me to be. The system is going to tell me pretty easily. And then finally, you can see by time. So depending on if you're sending emails in the morning, afternoon, or nighttime, uh, where you have the best open rate, click-through rate, goals, etc. So very cool on the analytics side. Definitely having a good time here. And I also kind of messed myself up because I was only showing the one email. I was 
subfiltered so you can see kind of how the different days have performed as well as uh, some clicks there. So what I want to cover as far as new features here is let's go ahead and make a broadcast and I want to show you a feature that is maybe easy to overlook but extremely powerful for smart respect based internet marketers. What I mean by that is so often people will just blast the same list all the time no matter what, how that list is feeling. Now, if they're warm, cold, or kind of somewhere in between, every person is getting the same message. And here, there's many ways for you to segment your list, but this is a way that's kind of relatively passive and, and just very insightful and, and easy to use, in my opinion. And it's called adding points to your list or adding points to your subscribers. So we'll do YouTube points walkthrough. And we're going to create a new... Um, let's just no no category in particular. When you create your broadcast, it'll walk you through the steps. Let's say you want to send an email. I have not yet tested sending SMS. Um, I'll go ahead and blast past here. Blast past here. And let's just send the email as this example to everyone in the database. because so we don't need to break down that yet. And here you go. So it's very simple. Uh, you, you'll see exactly what should be expected as we go through. So the four blocks shows kind of, um, I'm in the process of bringing old cold people back into my list. And so obviously I'm going to start seeing some people that have blocked the information. And here we go. So you, this is pretty cool. I, I will definitely be doing a future video about A-B testing versus single emails, but not, it's not the topic for tonight. So enter topic here or that's your subject line of the email, and then you can go for it. Like I showed you in the previous video, you can very easily add uh, what you want. So when you put in first name, if I can, okay. very formal, first name. So let's go ahead and just say hello. And if we were to send a test email, that's what's gonna show up, and it will actually show test wherever you have those short codes embedded to make sure that it is working for you. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and show you the new automation feature. So here you have some options. So this is just at the email level. If the lead opens the email, does not, clicks on the link, does not click on the link. So let's say if the lead opens an email, what we want to do is start to tell our system that this person is warm, that they're engaged, they're doing something with us, and they're listening to our message. So if they do that, a very easy way to track this is simply to start giving them points. And points is just an attribute. It's just something that sits linked to that subscriber and allows you to see as kind of the, the master planner who is your most likely to buy, who are the ones that are most likely to be unsubscribed or be uh, disengaged. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give positive points to people who are engaging and acting on our emails. We're going to take away points from people who are not engaging after a, a good period of time. So let's go ahead and do that here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, Add three points to anybody who opens the email. That means they're they care. You know, they're they're with me. And there you go. So I'll hit save. And now you can see that this broadcast has some logic attached to it. Now let's go ahead and click new automation again and round out that part where if the lead does not open the email. And now here you have to give it a second value. I mean, in what time period are you looking at? Because they might open it two years from now, but that doesn't help you. So I'll, I'll say, you know, between 72 hours and 96 hours, you know, a couple of days um, is pretty good. And then, then you can say subtract points from the leads. And you can say, you know, I would not recommend you take off the same number of points you gave for them to open it. Maybe you take off one point if they don't open an email and you give them more points if they do open. Um, but you can kind of play with it and see what works best for you. So we'll save that guy as well. So now, very quickly, you set up a way. And imagine this, for any email you send, you can start to see who's really responding and not have to go through and look at the actual log of what each person has done. You don't need to create an intricate uh, tag system to see if they're cold medium hot and take you know take tags off and put tags on you can be very easy here and just do it through points let me show you let's do one more just so you can see all the other options here so if they click on a link i don't have any links on here let's go ahead and add a quick link here 
So check it out. So if I just send this guy to Google, and there you go, there's my link. So now, if I create an automation, and say the lead clicks on a link, and it will automatically pull um, all the individual links on your page, as well as saying if they click on any link, they click on this, then you have even more options here. So you can subscribe to a list, you can kind of read through this here, but you got a lot of different options. What I really like is where you can actually grant access to a membership straight from an email. So if let's say you create an opt-in that is linked to accessing, to giving access to a free membership site, that's great for the people that are opting in at that point, but what about your existing list? Do you send them to another opt-in page and like give them another uh, piece of resistance from following through and getting access to your membership? Well, you don't have to. Here, you could create a link in your email that takes them to the home page of your membership site and then add the automation in here where if they click on that link, then give them access to the membership. I'll be testing that in the future to see if the timing works that real time. You might need to send them to a confirmation page saying thank you and you'll get your information shortly and, and then have them go through that process. But just imagine the possibilities here. Even refunding an order directly from clicking a link in an email. That's crazy. I just want to take a look at this. So if you say this, I'm making some example um, products here. I haven't worked with it yet. Wow. So you could say refund a certain price point if they, wow, that's, a, that's, I'm going to sit back here and just kind of think about that for a second. Cause as I'm, I'm not like joshing with you here, like that's a seriously powerful thing. Um, didn't expect it to be able to do that and hit save. So then at that point, if you wanted to proceed, you could send and schedule. And what's nice is that it will give you recommendations. I haven't gotten there yet, but it'll give you recommendations on when it thinks would be the best time for you to send. And I'm not sure if that's going to be dynamic to the filters you use to send it. So for example, if you have three different lists, I don't know if this is going to recommend which is the best time for each segment or if they're just going to look at your entire database of people and give you a recommendation but i do intend on emailing the small list that i'm nurturing right now uh, on a pretty regular basis so i'm sure that in a future video we will start having recommendations and we'll give you a full review of that as well so what we covered today was the email campaign analytics as well as creating an automation inside of the individual broadcast in future videos, we'll dive much deeper into the amazing capabilities and, and things that I'm really just, I'm smiling just using this thing, which is weird because normally you want the output, you want the effect, you know, the, the result of using your tools, but using the tools isn't always where you get the fun and the enjoyment. Here is actually starting to shift that, that whole perspective, and I'm really having a great time here. So if you enjoyed this video and want to kind of check out for your own $1 free trial, I'll have a link in the description below that you can check it out, give them a buck, and uh, test drive it for a couple of weeks and see what it does for you. So I'm Jack again. I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Take care.